answer is always, always inside of you. Hi everybody, welcome back to your boy RJ DJ Sabi Khan live on this afternoon show. We've got Madhya Sosan Kya Bape, amazing uh, inspirational speaker who just won the award from Oracle last week. Thank you so much Madhya, thank you so much for joining in uh, and a uh, pleasure to have you on air. So uh, uh, tell me, uh, Madhya, you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing a quick sound check and everything, that's fine anyway. Yeah. Well now then Madhya, so like I said, thank you so much for coming out from Manchester, uh, taking your time out and uh, uh, welcome to Bradford Asian Radio. Thank you. Uh, we've got a uh, lot of listeners in today from Bradford, uh, Huddersfield, Halifax, Leeds, tuning in to you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Madhya, Ma Ma you know, tell me more about yourself anyway. You know, like, uh, c could you give me a brief overview of your life to the audience? You know, like, I know we spoke yesterday briefly on a pre-chat and everything, you know? Mm -hmm. So, tell me more about that, you know? Right, so basically, um, how are you doing, guys? <laughs> by the way, yeah. um, basically, so... I was born in Pakistan and uh, I moved to the UK when I was seven um, and my dad was already here. I didn't see him for four years prior to this. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, so when I was 13, my dad was diagnosed with cancer. Oh, God, sorry to hear that. Yeah, and um, and um, I, within a year he passed away and then my mom fell ill and I became a young carer at the uh -huh. age of 14. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know, like, that it's, it must have been a traumatic experience for you, you know, yeah. like, you know, uh, c coming from Pakistan, you know what I mean, then your dad's already been here, you mm -hmm. haven't seen your father for all that time, then, mm -hmm. you know, then he's been dying of the cancer. Yeah, uh, uh, I suffered from, um, because of all the pressures on my shoulder, I, yeah. I suffered from crippling anxiety and depression because when I could not even leave the house, so for 15 years, that was my life, you know, I used to have panic attacks two, yeah. three times a day. Oh my God. Um, yeah, it was a, quite a horrific um, yeah. journey, but um, I've come out of it now, I'm yeah. <laughs> stronger than yeah. ever. No, I'm, you know, like, um, as I could see you, you know, you, you nice and healthy and everything. And uh, once again, I want, to congratulate, I want to congratulate you for your article award. Oh, thank uh, you. I want to give a big shout out to Aidan Musti from Huddersfield. Thank you so much, Aidan, uh, uh, for your great article award show and giving it to uh, Madi as well. So mm -hmm. a big shout out to you. So, you know, uh, you know, tell me, you know, like when you uh, go, went through trauma, um, I'll still that on the first, you know, question, mm -hmm. you know, you know, how did you feel? You know, I mean, uh, what's you know, what effects did you have? Did you not go out of the house? Or did you stay at home? Or you know, what happened anyway? Tell me more about um, it. I felt like the whole world was uh, like crumbling around me at that time. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the age of fourteen, losing dad, mum, and I'm the only child. So oh I God! Didn't, yeah, and yeah. we didn't have any family support nearby either. Yeah. So I just felt uh, isolated, alone, and um, it was a massive. I, I was in that really. Uh, you know that fear based mentality and, yeah. and i thought something bad was always going to happen to me <laughs> um and that sort of left a mark until i was you know uh you know it's, it's suffering from anxiety depression that was yeah. Just, yeah it left a huge mark on me i think you know what it is within the asian community as a whole my dear um i think that's very very common don't you think like mm -hmm. you know uh people from the british asian community that live in england mm -hmm. Um, it's uh, you know like anxiety and depression is mm. quite uh, severe, mm. um, especially amongst the females. I know some males are getting it as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the work, the relationship, and whatever. Mm. Uh, you know, how would you advise uh, you know uh, British Asian females like yourself? You mm. know, what I mean, uh, what, what would you tell them? I would every time someone asks me this i always say that please invest in personal development yeah you need to invest because in our in our society in our culture uh -huh. uh, women are restricted yes you, right yeah even if they're not their mentality is still there yeah right mm -hmm. so um to get out there push yourself out, out outside of your comfort zone and the doors will start opening for you yes the more you restrict yourself the more you're gonna be because we're as human beings spiritual beings we are free and we are open yes right? and if you restrict that yeah you're gonna keep uh, you're gonna you, you it's it's gonna uh, i'm trying to explain this yeah it's gonna, i understand, you know, <laughs> I, understand. I, 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 I know i know you're quenching to explain anything <laughs> <laughs> but don't don't beat me up, you know what I mean? Don't jump on me and start hitting me up and everything, you know, I mean? get your frustration out and everything. All of the cameraman down here, bless me, you know what I mean? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I do understand you. Yeah. It's that clench of e uh, eager that yeah. you want to break yeah. out of that uh, yeah. that bonding, that uh, yeah. chains that you tie down. Yeah, with. and we we worry about yeah. what people think in our coaches. It means that oh my god, what people think of this. Yeah, but just keep what, whatever you love. Just go towards it. Yeah, you know you'll, the, you'll be fine. No, exa exactly. You you know you said the right thing. You know, mm -hmm. um, you know, like. When when you were going through that phase, you know what I mean. Uh, I know it took you quite a lot of time to get out of it. Mm. You know how what what was your personal thing that you did? You know what I mean. Your hobbies, your interest, your mm. uh, socializing. Mm. What what did you do uh, personally to help you break from that? Uh, you know, depressed environment, you know what yeah. I mean? How how did you react to that? So, like I said, for 15 years, that was my life. I couldn't leave the house. And three years ago, I sort of had my, um, is it what you call it, inner awakening, basically. Uh -huh. I call it my spiritual awakening. Yeah, <laughs> um, good. So I automatically um, just started um, sitting with myself because for 15 years, I was suppressing a lot of things. Yeah. And um, I just randomly just started sitting with myself and asking myself the true questions yeah. how are you feeling today yeah. are you okay mm -hmm. and these two questions brought up a lot of traumatic experiences that mm -hmm. i went through oh my god childhood. yeah and i kept going i mean um the, in us in in, in the society in general we run away from things so whenever something happens yeah we run away we suppress it we go on social media try to distract ourselves yeah and it's it's like it gets buried deep within exactly yeah, yeah. so it's finding that time to take out all the distractions and sitting by yourself and asking yeah. yourself the question exactly. how are you not everybody everyone else how yeah. are you fantastic and when i started doing that everything the like all the everything about my mom dad my rough childhood everything came up for me to heal yeah and these kind of trauma you need to heal rather yeah. than uh, run away from it because exactly. it, 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 there will be a point where you will hit a wall yeah and then you will you will have no choice but to turn back and heal those traumatic experiences exactly yeah. definitely yeah. No, no, yeah. you you're 100 percent right yeah. there yeah you know w would you um would you recommend uh, somebody who suffers from trauma uh you know what, what was a step-by-step -step guide would you uh, offer them you know like i know you've given a wide range of mm -hmm. uh, options mm -hmm. how would you give them step-by-step -step guide you know right the step-by-step -step is to heal internally internally yeah. and ex externally yeah so externally you would do things like going out meeting friends and you know having whatever you do your hobbies yeah. or if you're into sports mm -hmm. or whatever yeah and it, in inside you need to sit with yourself and yeah. feel these traumatic experiences yeah so basically i do i meditate um you don't have to meditate. oh wow yeah i do yeah. you do yoga as well <laughs> yes i do <laughs> nice yeah. um yeah. so i meditate i go into meditation take out all the distractions and i would just meditate for 10 minutes and then ask myself these questions yeah and um, every time, say for example, you're asking these questions and some traumatic experience comes up, yeah. uh, what you need to do is watch it. Don't yeah. get attached to it, yeah. watch it. Mm -hmm. And let it, let it. if you feel angry, feel angry. If yeah. you feel sad, feel yeah. sad. If you need to cry, cry. Brilliant. And th what you're doing is you're peeling all the layers on the onion and you're healing it, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. rather than running away from it. Because mm -hmm. the more you get to the core of the onion, the yeah. better like the, they keep peeling all the layers exactly, yeah. and you get to the core and you fully release and by the time you done uh, uh, you done all of this you won't even every time a trigger comes up you won't even feel it yeah, you feel yeah. like you'll be grateful for it yeah amazing yeah. that's great yeah. that is. you know yeah. that's a way of uh, that's a very good way of saying it like mm -hmm. you know when you're peeling a layer of onion you know what i mean like mm -hmm. each stage you know what i mean yeah. That's perfect, you know, I really, I really like that, you know, yeah. thing, you know what I mean, and a lot of our listeners, you know, I mean, tuning in, I think they probably understand where you're coming from. Because, mm -hmm. you know, where we get a lot of listeners, you know what I mean, who have mental health issues, they're like yourself, who had it before, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, like some of our presenters as well. Mm -hmm. At least, you know, they get a vibe of how it's going on, you see. You know, the problem with, um, uh, as you know yourself, like our agent, they don't want to go to, like, doctors or... Mm. Uh, you know, see, it's like because of the, the element of fear inside mm. them. Mm. So hearing from you is different. You see, you know what I mean? Mm. They know that this it's not it's nothing like that at all. Mm. I, I was they they even put me like 
I, I, I was told to go on antidepressants. I was told to go. Yeah. I had counseling number t num mm. numerous of times, but yeah. um, all of these worked only a temporary. But, yeah. but this is the change that you need to go uh, change in with, yeah. within within yeah, yeah. yourself, not yeah. the external first, the, uh, the internal. Internal one. Yeah. Amazing yeah. that is. Yeah. You know, um, I know I know um, you, you discussed uh, how you want to heal and you know what I mean and all that. Um, what would you would you recommend would you recommend people go through counseling or would you recommend people take antidepressants because you could either go through chemical based treatment which is mm -hmm. antidepressant or would you go through something which is like counseling what would you recommend what's your point of view um i never took antidepressants the right. old um not for actually i took it once and i only took it for about two weeks and okay. and i it, it made me feel like a zombie and so oh, i'm god. more happy oh than god this. yeah <laughs> um, so i didn't i for my personal point of view i wouldn't recommend i'm um, obviously i'm not a doctor yeah so i wouldn't recommend yeah. um 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 like antidepressants but uh -huh. um counseling i would because if Fantastic. you have you can talk things out brilliant you know yeah uh, but it's the it's internal thing that you need to you yeah. need to be brave enough to go yes. within and face your demons yeah well there you go you know because I, I, I get a lot of people that come on the radio show uh, we do stuff during the week, especially with anxiety and mm -hmm. mental illness and all that. And people, you know, say that they go, "Look, yeah. how can we combat anything?" Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a very serious thing, mm -hmm. you know. And um, you know, I watched your video yesterday mm -hmm. uh, on YouTube. Oh, yeah. You look very smart, very <laughs> elegant. You know what I mean, I really like all that. Thank yeah. You. And uh, you know, uh, t tell me, you know, in one of your live talks, mm -hmm. uh, you talk about the importance of inner healing. Mm -hmm. You know, I think you've already given this anyway, you know, what message would you like to give to the audience who are struggling with their feelings and emotions? Mm -hmm. uh, in your own point of view, I know you've already touched on similar sort of subject yeah. before. Yeah. Uh, you know, you kind of more, more or less answered the question from last time. Yeah. So how would you, um, you know, tell the audience, because we've got a big audience today that tuned in, we get, you know, a lot of people from Bradford, the Huddersfield Leeds. So how would you uh, tell the audience when they're struggling with their, uh, you know, the inner uh, pain, you know, I mean, should I say, you know, I mean, they can't release it or whatever. How would you tell them? Uh, well, uh, the, like I said, like it is to feel your feelings and emotions fully and not to suppress it. Yeah. Um, that's really important. So if anything, something happens uh is to just go within and feel it fully that i've already answered this question yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. but yeah. Yeah, that's that's all it is like yeah. um the more you feel it the more you're you'll feel empowered yeah that you have handle on your feelings and emotions yeah. and it's okay to mm. be vulnerable yeah a lot of our society think that we need to be strong yeah whatever something bad happens but you don't need to be strong you need to be vulnerable at yeah. the vulnerable stage exactly you definitely know? yeah you need to be happy at the happy stage you need to be happy uh, you are angry at angry stage you know yes. just don't go, go around hitting people yes yes you know just um make sure that you letting go all these emotions out yes yes especially men men in our society yes they get hammered if they if they're uh, vulnerable yeah you know? and it's it being vulnerable is probably the strongest thing yeah I, I think i think we got like some male presenters and even they were saying you know like when i mentioned about yourself a couple of days ago mm. you know um, you know they've had issues where they can't actually talk openly about it and thing mm. you know mm. like uh, what would you cause i know with female is sometimes very reserved because of the, mm. the the age of culture and mm. you know even with men there because of that ego issue they have mm. uh, what would you recommend for the men to do uh, to go out and you know talk about it what would you say to I, them? i would say find other men who are willing to be vulnerable yeah you know and then you, you can even go join groups there are probably groups for men yeah um that that deal with feelings and emotions yeah. and and yeah for women they 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 can talk to their friends yeah. easy for men they they don't they talk but they don't talk deeply yes you know so talk yeah. deeply yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyone you can find another male it's it's not weird or anything it's it's your human exactly. you're allowed to feel yes yeah no that's, that's amazing that yeah. you know um you touched on a lot of very sensitive issues there uh, with uh, you know mental health and you know, mean trauma and all that and it's good to hear from yourself because mm -hmm. you know i mean who's actually experienced that you know mm -hmm. and that helps a lot of our listeners mm -hmm. 
they can see the, the grass green on the side because yeah. not many people see that. This one thing in that phase, they're thinking, oh God, now I'm going to be depressed. I'm going to be like that for all our life. Mm -hmm. But I think you actually said that, you know, you've, you've changed over time, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, you, many years you were depressed yourself, you know what yeah. I mean? And that's, ama you know, and it's amazing that you recovered, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But yeah. it's sad that you were in it, Yeah. you know? Yeah. So, you know, um, you're a motivational speaker, you know what I mean? <laughs> Come on, let's touch on that, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't want to be depressing you and I don't want to be depressing the cameraman behind me, you know what I mean? And if I get too depressed, I'll probably start crying and everything, you know what I mean? So, yeah, let's, let's, get, a bit more, let's get a bit motivated, shall we say, yeah? yeah. So, you know, um, you are a motivational speaker, okay? And when did, you, when did you, sorry, when did the public speaking journey start for you? Because, uh, you know, coming out of something, trauma and depression and anxiety, which is very, very dangerous, mm -hmm. into something which is the far left, uh, you know, the far right, mm -hmm. and going to the far left, you know what I mean? So <laughs> tell me more about that anyway. Tell yeah. me how did you become a motivational uh, speaker for the public? And, you know, like, I know it must have been hard to face the public when you, mm -hmm. when you come out of it. So explain to me. Right. So, you know, like I said, um, three years ago when uh, I went through a bit of a transformation, I started going within and then working outward. And um, while I was doing that, I was like, okay, I have a, I have a, all these neg negative life experiences. Yeah. I want to turn it into something positive that would help people. Yeah. I just did not know how to do it. Yeah. Uh, so I was just um, at that moment. I, I, I'm one of those people who have uh, faith and trust in, in the higher power. Yeah. You can call it Allah. You can call it God, universe, yeah. or whatever you want to yeah. label. Um, and, and it's like everything, I trust that everything will happen in divine timing, yeah. in perfect timing. Yeah. You won't get anything before, you won't get anything after, you will get yeah. it in a perfect time. Yeah. So, um, what, um, this, we were at the, me and my friend were at the meeting and, um, I was, uh, we were talking about public speaking. She yeah. said she's an actress and she, how she wants to be doing public speaking because she gets stage fright yeah, um, and I was like okay so while we were talking about public speaking mm -hmm. these two guys popped out the building talking oh. about public speaking at the same time oh wow and they were like you know come and join us we can help you and I was like okay cool so I was like maybe mm -hmm. that's a sign oh nice uh, so I ended up and uh, researching about public speaking wow. and then I just got uh, just amazing like uh, joined different courses yeah and uh, when I started off i couldn't even stand in front of five people oh wow and within three months yeah i gave um i gave a um live talk to over 100 people oh fantastic that was the first the live talk that yeah, you yeah i saw that on saw youtube oh yeah. amazing yeah oh, wow. and then i went on to give another live talk the importance of inner healing yeah um it, that was um to over 150 people oh wow that's that's amazing yeah. that you know i mean and congratulations on the awards, yeah, thank you. On the yeah. awards night it was to over 200 people fantastic. So i think i, I want to be like like I want to be giving live talk to over a thousand people. Yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, so this that was my goal to help motivate people who are going through hard times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, because I've been through it, and um, and giving them hope. It's 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 such a great feeling. Yeah. Um, you know. That's yeah. good. That is, you know, I mean, that is, it's it's a good to, uh, to hear the inspirational coming out from you. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, like when I watched that video when you mentioned about your parents. You know, I mean, and you held your emotions back. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to do that for many people. Yeah. You know what I mean? You need to have a solid heart and you know, yeah. uh, you did really well, you know what I mean? I want to congratulate you. Like, you know, you, you extremely performed well in the, uh, the, the motivational speech. Thank yeah. You. You know, and where do you see yourself going uh, with motivation? Do you want to do more shows? Do you want to do more uh, talks? You know, how do you feel about it? Oh, absolutely. I want to be uh, a motivational speaker. I want to be going towards on the stages yeah. and different events. Yeah. And, um, nice. Yeah. So I want to be going out there and yeah, Brilliant. inspiring, helping people. It's just amazing feeling. You know, when Fun. people come up to you and say, uh, that was your positive role model. I was yeah. like, oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah. You know, the change that within yeah. three years, I was a person who couldn't leave the house yeah, yeah. to going on motivating, winning awards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's big time, that's big yeah. time, that. You know, I know I'm very proud of you and everything on that. Yeah? Thank you. So, you know, uh, tell me, um, you won the best female inspirational person. Congratulations yeah. once Thank again. You. Award at the Oracle Award. And how. Do you feel about it because of your journey coming back from a traumatic time, you know what I mean, getting yourself back on your feet, mm -hmm. uh, you know, standing again 
And you know, how do you feel about that award? You know, I mean, you achieved a lot. So tell me about the achievement and the feelings that you got inside it when you won the award. Tell me more about that. Um, when I, you know, when I was nominated, yeah, um, I was like, are you sure you yeah. got the right person? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I just feel like, and then going on, I wasn't expecting anything. Yeah. I was just like, this is another amazing opportunity and experience. Yeah. And I'm just gonna go there and enjoy it. And um, when Aiden was like, yeah. uh, uh, when he announced my name, I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> so, and I just like, I went, I went from my seat, yeah. bouncing on the st like on the stage. And you know what I did? Yeah. I just went on the stage and I went, boom, yeah. <laughs> I have arrived. Because <laughs> yeah. like, I, I, I love bouncing. Like yeah. it just, it's just, it's just yeah. new. Level. But I just feel like, yeah. I just feel like it's just the incredible journey. I mean, I still can't. It's been a week. I didn't sleep for a couple of nights. Oh wow! It's buzzing. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, I can imagine yeah. the. Uh, yeah. The passion and the yeah. excitement, yeah, you know, what I mean, so the grateful. energy flowing inside you. Yeah, yeah I can just, imagine that. Yeah, just so grateful for everything. I mean, yeah. every little experience, experience, especially the hard times. I yeah. mean, if I didn't go through that, I wouldn't be sat here making yeah. a difference or yeah. winning these awards, right? Yeah. So, it's, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Fantastic. And you, any, anyone is going through hard times right yeah. now you can get out of it exactly. with the right positive mindset yeah yeah no what is, i want to give a big shout out to uh dr Qureshi, uh Saira Qureshi, aka dr q from action get bullying mm -hmm. uh she's been a great inspiration of similar work that you've been doing and she's been on our show many times mm -hmm. uh, so i want to give a big shout out to her um, i hope she, she, she's based over in new jersey at the moment mm -hmm. so i hope she's tuning in and look and hopefully you guys could connect with one day and everything and yeah. talk about your motivational stuff and everything, you know? Yeah. So a big shout out to Dr. Q, a.k.a. Sarah Qureshi from uh, Action Gift Bullying. Mm -hmm. Right, um, you know, uh, we've got, we're short on time, unfortunately. I'd love to have you on for another yeah. half an hour, an hour, yeah? Uh, you know, any last message that you would like to uh, give to the people who are going through hard times? You know, mm -hmm. whether they're going through relationship problems, whether they're going through health uh, problems, you know what I mean? I know whatever people go through it has a mental toll on them mm. so um, you know any any last message for them you know i mean like you want to give to um to our wonderful listeners uh yeah so um if you're um if you're in a in a darkness right now just know that it will pass uh -huh. and try not to plan ahead try not to look look back just mm -hmm. stay in the present moment because that's where you'll find peace keep doing what you're doing mm -hmm. keep um, uh, working on yourself personal development is probably the best thing you can invest in yeah um work uh, develop yourself like go go out meet people go to different events personal development events yeah. seminars mm -hmm. and then go and then find the time as well yeah. to be be with yourself mm -hmm. and if, heal whatever you need to heal yeah so whatever you're going through it won't last mm -hmm. and the, whatever's coming for you mm -hmm. is will be much better than whatever you're losing yeah. right now <laughs> brilliant okay. that's a that's a great uh that's a great uh motivational uh announcement you did made there you know and tell me um uh, gosh now we're short on time and honestly i love to i've got <laughs> hundreds of questions for you you know what i mean and, and the cameraman down here bless him and everything and he's probably getting he probably wants to go back to uh, Manchester, probably. You know what I mean, or <laughs> leave him anyway. You know what I mean, you could stay here. Uh, but anyway, uh, tell me, uh, my, my dear, how can people get in touch with you? Uh, right. So at the moment, you can contact me on social media. So okay. it's Madia Facebook. I'm on Madia Sosan, M A D I H A S O S A N. S O S A N. Uh -huh. And the same on Instagram. So if you want to follow me there, um, Fantastic. Um, you, you can do. Fantastic! There you oh, go. Oh, oh, sorry, my YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel. Oh well. God, no, I mean, so, yeah, yeah, keep going, so, keep yeah, going, yeah, no, yeah, I mean, yeah. we're not stopping you. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> keep yeah, going. Well, <laughs> if you want more motivational um, yeah. uh, stuff, so um, I'm on YouTube channel. So it's Mads Corner, M A D Z Corner. Yeah, uh, as in standing in a yeah. corner. <laughs> Fantastic! You gotta give me. You know what it is? After this uh, video, you upload it. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta give me it because I want to get it uploaded on our uh, on our Facebook as well. Right, uh, cool. For yeah. Asian Radio because yeah. we've got like about a few thousand followers there. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to upload it so people will contact you there as well. Yeah. So uh, that'd be good. So if you could do that, that'd be amazing. Right. So anything, any last message to our lovely listeners out there? You know, who's tuned in? Um, um, 
Yeah, just the, the, just what I said before, like just keep going and um, if you're, you have to feel the darkness in order yeah. to see the light. <laughs> uh, so just embrace the darkness because without darkness, there won't be light. Fantastic. There will be no light yeah, without brilliant. Being, you know, so, yeah. so just keep going and uh, you're doing brilliantly. Whatever you're doing, you're doing brilliantly, whether you're, you're achieving a lot or you're achieving nothing, yes. you're still doing brilliantly. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. We're short on time. Uh, we're just a couple, about a minute away uh, before we go to three o'clock. Um, the next hour, the Bollywood Remix Hour. I'd like to thank Madias Sasan for coming to our uh, show. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank the cameraman. What's your name? Arnold. Arnold, thank you so much, mate. You know what I mean? For coming on. You know what I mean? I didn't get your name before. Sorry. So thank you guys for making an effort coming out from Manchester. I really appreciate it. No, uh, and hopefully I want to get you back on my show again. Oh, I would love um, to. And, you know, come down and, you know, like uh, talk about uh, more about your stuff, you know. Uh, uh, maybe we could give you like uh, maybe once a month show and everything. You could come and just talk to our listeners and everything, you know. Yeah. Uh, cool. Something for your video blogs and everything. That'd be amazing. Yeah, that'd so, be fantastic. Yeah, brilliant. So guys, thank you so much. Uh, that was uh, Madhya Sosan. I mean, uh, made a great effort to come down and talk about her amazing work. So I'm going to go straight up to the commercial break. We've got the Bollywood Remix Hour. So I'll be, there'll be a lot more hits coming up. And you got me here till 4 o'clock. Uh, next week, we've got Juggy D coming on air with Apache Indian, so that's next week guys. Uh, big shout out to Shamela from Islamabad that tuned in, uh, Takar Singh from Huddersfield, uh, Alan and Paul from Keefley, thank you so much guys. Uh, Nazia Shanaz uh, from Bradford, thank you so much. So uh, hopefully I'll be seeing you guys again. Thank you.